Do you think that uh, video on the internet will always be free or ad supported, uh, such as your model uh, works today? That, that'll be the largest. That'll be, that'll be the largest model for sure, um, and the largest opportunity that we've we've always continued to focus on because we wanted to reduce as many barriers as possible for people to watch videos uh, on their free time and not necessarily asking them to sign up and require them to put in a credit card number and purchase a piece of video content before they start watching it. We want to make things pretty seamless. Um, so that's what we'll primarily always be concentrating in the future. But um, I think there's going to be different types of content that potentially needs different types of models. Uh, and that will be more than just ad supported content. There'll be transaction models that we, we introduce to the site that allows people to pay for different types of, of content and potentially allows those windows, um, if you will, to transition over time. Um, so instead of waiting you know, months for a TV or a movie to come from theater to DVD to TV, um, it may be days or, or weeks um, for those transitions to take place and hopefully our system is able to adapt and, and support that. But do you have already some uh, sort of paid content on YouTube? We have, right now we, we have a feature called Click to Buy, which just allows uh, a video owner to associate a, uh, a link, uh, uh, maybe a, a link to Amazon for a DVD, or right. primarily it's used for, for music downloads, where uh, iTunes or Amazon. But not for consuming the content on the site itself? No, not You yet. don't have to pay to watch it? No. Right now it's all ad-supported or just free um, on the site. Um, but in the future we will have transactions where people can make a purchase, if you will. To watch on the website? Yeah. Right. I, I guess we do have one feature today that allows people to purchase some videos, download the videos, but it's, it's not highly used. It was, it's more of a feature to allow uh, people maybe to take some of these videos with them, take them on, you know, download them to the computer while they go on a flight. Um, and the video uploader can determine if they're free or for a fee, but that's, that's not necessarily what we're envisioning for the future. It's potentially going to be more seamless streaming experience that lives in the cloud.